Mr. Thalati, the referee for this first semi final, playing from left to right in the first 10 minutes at 10 minute spells now, will be Nandy. With very much a point to prove here. There's a feeling here in some quarters that maybe there should be more Nandy players in the Fiji inside. And certainly it's an indication of the remarkable depth of Sevens rugby in Fiji when you just look at the skill within the ranks of this Nandy side. They're tall, they're skillful, they're fast. And even on the soft ground, that still is a bit of a problem here. They're a very effective unit. And here they are breaking out already from inside their own 22. It's Mateo, the long run down the right wing, speculated ahead by Sarevi. But again, it's Nandy pressing. The long pass out here to Benji. Now, he's the really elusive fellow. Look at this. So Revy, Benji, manages to keep it alive. Picked up there by Nawabu. So Revy breaks out, but he steps into touch. Different class of rugby when you see two top sides like this playing sevens. This is a fiercely competitive match. There's great rivalry amongst these 14 players on the field at the moment. And added to the fact, of course, there is a, a berth in the final to the team that wins this match being played in front of nearly 30,000 Fijian fans with this ins um, ins seemingly insatiable appetite for sevens. This is a very special occasion in the history of Fijian rugby. Here's Jone with the first opportunity now for the Fijian side. Back there is Lala inside his own half. Couldn't get his pass free to Benji. And the rather scrappy passage of play and the referee, Mr. Thalati, penalising the Nandi side. Now, what can the Fiji national side do? Inside their opponent's half, Sarevi lurking dangerously out there. Here he is. Every time he touches the ball, he seems to score of this championship, and this is no exception. Well, he, he was cutting it pretty fine in the end because he dotted the ball down literally on the dead ball line. And there he is, way over the back on the uh, pole vault run-up at the moment. It's a remarkable, he's a remarkably gifted player, this fellow. There he is, his first touch of the ball. One little body swerve, he goes left, he goes right. Shades of Campisi there as well with the imitation goose step. It all completely confused the Nandi defence and Sir Revy. Now just look where he puts this ball down. Goodness gracious me, there's only a couple of centimetres or else that would not have been a try. The momentum and the speed that he had up by the time he got to the goal line meant it was rather difficult for him to slow down. the extra two points and a, saw a glimpse there of the very satisfied Fijian coach coach to Kuti and that all-important first blood claimed by Fiji of course it would be acutely embarrassing to the Fijian national side if they were to lose here at home in their first sevens tournament to a local side but it is a distinct possibility. So good is this Nandy team. So little is there between, apparently, between these top sides here in Fiji. And they're on the break again, the national side. Savo. Going for the outside break and getting it. Saru. Back inside to Savo. And Savo makes it 12 points to nil. Well, Landy might be a very good unit, but the Fiji national side, as we all know, is a brilliant team, and it's playing at its very best at the moment. And the calibre of the opposition bringing out their best skills here. The outside break by Waisia. And the man right on hand where he should be, 
That's Seru, of course, one of their great players. And always a player there to support the ball carrier. And it's Sabo that manages to take that final pass and just strolls in for the try. Number two for the Fijian national side. They lead by 12 to nil. There he is with his little Charlie Chaplin shuffle, which, which passes for a run-up. Wonderfully entertaining player. Waisali Sarevi, it's 14-0. Tough job now for the Nandy team, trailing by 14 points to nil. They have had their opportunities, haven't really made the most of them. Serevi loves to attack from the back. Eferama it is who makes that first break. Taken down inside the 10 meter line. It's still alive there for Fiji. Waisia. And uh, one side step and Philomone Seru. No, he's not quite away. That was a very good tackle there by number 17. Benji coming from behind to catch the flying Seru. There aren't many in the rugby world that could do that. Now, Sarevi. This time he's going to kick and chase. No one at home. Easy stuff for Sarevi. Well, he must be surely God's gift to rugby, this man. Talk about the Midas touch. The, the arrogance of the man at times is breathtaking. Now just have a look at this. From Wasali Sarevi. He takes the pass seven or eight metres inside his own half. He quickly weighs up. There's no one at home out there on the right flank. He chips through and just strolls through ever so casually. And the ball at the very right moment just pops up beautifully for Sarevi. It's almost as if he ordered to pop up at that moment. And he just strolls in for the try. Head held high. <laughs> yes. And he couldn't resist the little smile as he looks back at the rather bedraggled opponent left in his wake. And there's Tuikiti, the Fijian coach. And what a marvellous workout this has been for the Fijian side. A week before, they travelled to Hong Kong to defend their Hong Kong Sevens title for 1993. So there it is at the break. The Fiji Sevens at its best. The national side leading Nandy by 21 to nil. One world of sport. From Sunday, April 4th, Air Pacific takes off from Nandi with a direct, non-stop service to Christchurch. Now enjoy heavenly service every Sunday to Christchurch with Air Pacific. One world of sport. Second half of the sevens about to get underway is uh, Waisali Sarevi. Probably waving to members of his family in the, in the crowd there. Is, seems to be able to do about seven or eight things at once. He gives that ball tremendous height, which enables his players to get underneath it. But now Sarevi's tackling abilities are being called into question. It's three on one here. They should get something out of this, Nandy. But marvellous defence here from the Fiji inside. They had three on one. Sarevi took the ball carrier and the movement has all but died. Sarevi again is kicking, but he decides Eparama can chase, but it beats them all into touch. And uh, possibly Sarevi just happy to just slow the game down a little in the second half with such a huge lead at halftime. They're assured of the win. And... They'll need to be fresh as they possibly can be for the final. Probably doesn't see any point in expending undue energy for this match now. John A with the speculator. And the referee has decided we'll have a scrum. Throw probably wasn't straight, or there was an infringement in the lineup.
Sakuru, midway 22 and halfway, nowhere to go. He quickly ran out of options there, but Nandy managed to hang on to the ball, but they've lost it in that pass in the tackle. 21 to nil, the scrum to go down 10 metres outside the 22. Around too quickly, those uh, Nandy players. And Fiji with the penalty. John Eight chipping back on the angle from the pass that he received. Some of the PGM players are a little slow to get there. If Arama doesn't seem to be in any hurry to take his place in the lineout. But he's successful when he gets there. Now Serevi outside the 22. This is Seru. Serevi and Seru. Wonderful combination they are. But I guess if anyone would be aware of the tricks that these fellows can get up to, it would be the Nandy side. Running for the corner is uh, Penasoni Waki. It's Seru that finishes it off. It's 26 to nil. Well, this is why this big crowd have come to the National Stadium today to see this great seven Fijian seven side in action. And they certainly haven't been disappointed with the caliber of rugby they've turned on in this match for marvellous tries ahead by 26 to nil and uh, really they haven't ever been required to get out of much more than first gear in any of their four matches so far and there doesn't seem to be anyone here at this ground this weekend that will test this Fiji inside Sir Revy who virtually stops when he approaches the ball at, during his run-up and then just chips the ball. But that time he hooked it out to the left. And the score remains at 26 to 0. One of the PGM players has received a knock. So Penasoni Waki leaving the field. It, it doesn't look as if it's a serious injury, but uh, he's a key member in the Fiji 7 side and will be next week in Hong Kong. So he's doing the wise thing. Melly is the new player on the field immediately into the fray, but hardly endeared himself to his colleagues there with a pass like that. Another try was in the offing there for the Fiji inside until that pass went astray from the new man, Melly. Twenty-six to nil. <laughs> Around the corner goes Lalai. Decides to have Serevi on. It's gone loose. It's towed ahead by Nawabu. And the big boot of Jonah clears it for the Fiji inside. long overhead pass it's a little slow in getting there but Benji hey he's still got enough skill to get in for the tries fitting that he should get the only try so far for Nandy because he's been really for me one of the really brilliant players at this championship and it will remain something of a mystery why they can't find room for him in the Fiji national side and even from this fairly average looking situation the pass seemed to take an eternity to get to Benji. He stopped the, and the very easily ran around Sabu, even though 
He was only a couple of meters away from them when he received the pass. And the try was converted. So some consolation there. No, nope, the conversion was outside the right hand upright. 26 to 5 it remains. Well, the police thoroughly enjoying themselves here today. They haven't had much to do in the way of crowd control. It's been a, a, a fun crowd. The 30,000 here have thoroughly enjoyed themselves. And I guess the policemen have as well. Uh, the short kickoff, now that was a rather dangerous thing to do, to kick the ball straight to Benjamin, to Benji out there on the left wing. And he was away, but the ball didn't travel 10 metres. Perhaps surprising that he didn't play the advantage there, but... All it, all it. Nandy anyway will, of course, have the loose head. Very little of the players gone the way of their left wing, Benji, their key and most potent attacker in their tar side. Now, the ball was knocked ahead by one of the Fijian players there, but the referee decides it's really no point calling for the scrum as the hooter sounds. And the Fijian national side, again, comfortable victors, easy winners, this time in their semi-final. Through to the final they go. They've beaten Nandy by 26 to 5. And Joe Sawalu, the manager of the Fijian side, and the Fijian coach... Tuikiti, delighted with the performance of the PGN7 side.